Well, hey there, YouTube peeps. Mr. Prime to the 2-5 Nizan coming at you with a G.I. Joe review. Yo, Joes. Uh, today, <clears throat> we are looking at this one right here. It's the G.I. Joe um, Valor vs. Venom Dusty. As you can see right there, it says Dusty. This is a picture of him in package, mitt, sealed package. He's got his, you know, accessories there, figure, flip it around, you know, it gives him his, his bio. You know, he's a grade E4, where he's, his, uh, file name is, serial number, primary military specialty is infantry, Secondary is refrigerating and air conditioning maintenance. Tells us the birthplace of, uh, you know, Las Vegas. And just gives a brief bio of it. Yeah, you guys probably can't see. Let's zoom in here and get some really good close-ups. <clears throat> Anyways, allergies are acting up. Go figure. It's about that season. Uh, you can find these anywhere, like, uh, there was like a couple years ago. Um, for this one, you could have got it at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, um, basically all the dollar stores, even um, over there at Odd Lots, Big Lots, stuff like that. Now it has the new, newer packaging, you know, it's red and white, it's got the black, still the same figure, just different uh, card backing. And it doesn't say, you know, Valor vs. Venom on it. Those are the newest ones out, so. <clears throat> and yes, I have two. You know how I roll. Here, there he is, Dusty, with his out of the packaging. Very nice. You know, he's got the uh, rubber band style body here with the metal hips. You know, he can kick forward, spread them out a little bit. Got some nice knee joints. No ankle whatsoever, unlike the newer, you know, 25s, Pursuit of Cobras, Rise of Cobras, you know, <clears throat> up and down, rotates 360, he's got his mid forearm, and then the elbow, and no hand, head, you know, of course, we'll do your 360, taking a look right here at Dusty himself, he's got his desert, um, you know, battle gear on, the jacket, the pants, nice duty belt, the yellow ring here, <clears throat> you know, if I die, I don't even know what that means, you know, <clears throat> set him back here to the back, also comes with his real nice, you know, his helmet, it's got the sheath cloth uh, protector in the back, you know, for those sandstorms, and whatnot, then just to keep the heat off the, the sun off his neck. Very nice, very nice. His backpack, hard plastic, very nice. On the backpack, you know, it shows a couple grenades, um, water canteen, a couple other things. Not too bad. Does have a hole in the back. Now you can just peg it on, like so. Good to go. We'll go ahead and place the helmet. Doesn't look too bad. I just wish these wasn't hard plastic, like a little bit more of a cloth. Would be really awesome like that. <clears throat> and then let's take a look at his, <clears throat> his weapons. You know, you got the M16. That's got the front stock grip right here. The little handle part. Standard mag looks like it. Uh, looks like a class collapsible stock on the back. And a high powered scope. They call this the flat rail version of the M1, M16, M4. Military uh, rifle. Not too bad. That's shabby. And then you have his funky-looking handgun. 
You know, you really can't figure out what shape this thing is. So let's go ahead and just take a brief look on the bag and see if it says what his weapons are. No. Nope. <clears throat> the bummer. Well, what's it say? It's a, you know, probably a 45. Will be my guess. It's got a... Almost a Ruger look, but maybe, um, yeah, your guess is probably good as mine. He does actually hold it in his hand really well. As you can see there. Ah, Blast Cobras. Nice, um, does not come with a holster, though, to holster it. So I don't know how he plans on holding his handgun and his rifle at the same time. Maybe we can put the rifle right here. You know, and he could be like, G.I. Joe! Oh, well, if not, you can always lose the handgun. And then just have him... Walking like so. <clears throat> I like the background. The back background here. You know, I still got the standard Autobot stuff up there. These come in those little, some of those little vehicles things. So I'll use the Wood Forest version for my GI Joes. And then I got this version right here. I'll use for the Cobra version for my Cobra figures. So. This one here, just a little quick show off of this figure. Um, again, you can still find these in, you know, your family dollar, dollar general, odd lots, big lots, um, dollar trees, stuff like that. Just has different packaging now because this was the Vollard versus Venom packaging. I think the other one's the real American hero style. So, <clears throat> again, Mr. Prime, the 25 Nizan. With a little short G.I. Joe review, uh, stay tuned because I'll be doing um, the 1986 series <clears throat> Conquest X-30 jet with his pilot slip stream. I'll be posting that up um, within the next few days. Hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to check out my channel, check out my buddies list, subscribe, <clears throat> and all that neat shit. Again... Peace, people.